morning, happy Saturday, and welcome back to another episode of Project CL500. Today, we're going to be doing none other than another oil change on this car. Um, I did one last year. Now it's time for another video for how to do an oil change on a 2002 Mercedes-Benz CL500 W215 chassis with the 5.0 m113 engine let's go ahead and get it i'm gonna show you what you need what you got to do to get it done the tools that you need so here we go all right so this is the basic stuff that you will need to do the oil change you will need your air filter your oil filter that's the part number on it part number for the air filter um i have an extra a uh, container of oil because I had some left over from my last oil change. So I won't be using all three of these. I believe it's like seven to eight quarts to fill this up. But as far as the tools, you will need this tool right here to pull out the oil filter cap. This right here. This uh, 74.5 millimeter. You get this off of FCP Euro. Um, of course, the ratchet and extension to go on it. A uh, 13 millimeter wrench to take the oil plug out. A 8 millimeter socket to take your um, tray underneath off. And a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the air filters. And I'll show you how to do that as well. And of course a funnel and a drain pan. So I'm going to go ahead and drain the oil and show you how that process goes. Alright, so I usually start out by cracking the um, oil filler cap. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off. It just pops right off. Like so. Move that out the way. Okay, so I start by taking off the oil filler cap. And um, simple enough. Let's take that off. Then I go underneath and drain my oil, and yeah, it looked pretty nasty in there, long overdue for oil change, and I still have to redo my um, valve covers. I know they look terrible now. Um, at one point they did look good, but got to redo them. Didn't do them right the first time, so I got to do them again. So now you just take your 13 millimeter wrench. Place it on the socket, like so. Let me flip it around. It should be able to just crack it off. This one's gonna need a little persuasion. So usually when the bolt is tough to get off, what I usually do is grab an extra pair of gloves, like so. This way I don't hurt my hands. And I can pull a little harder, see if that'll work. Yep, don't but hurt yourself. When that doesn't work, um, you can try to use like an extension piece, uh, like that. So this is what I used. I just slipped it on here and pulled it like that to break the nut loose. Good idea. Now that the nut is loose, I could just take it off. Now. And if you can't tell, I have none other than Isaiah, aka Ninja Ginja, with me. Say hi. Hi. He's assisting me with my oil change as usual. So you just work the bolt out with the oil pan, trying not to lose the washer in the process. Like so. Ready? Here we go. And now we're draining the oil. Remember this. 
So now, can you grab me? I remember this from a few years ago. There's a thin piece of wood over there. Can you go grab it for me? Yeah. All right, so while this oil is changing and this oil is filthy, um, I believe I'm about 12, 1300 miles overdue for my oil change. That's why the oil looks so nasty. But, um, yeah. Uh. It's real, real black, as you can see. Not very good. I don't recommend going that long over past your oil change. This is actually the first time I've ever done that. Usually I'm pretty good about changing my oil. So this is almost done draining. Let's go up top, pop the cap open on the oil filter and take that out. Okay, now while that is draining, we can go ahead and take this off by using this tool right here. So it pretty much just slides on top like a cap. You take your ratchet and you just twist it off like so. Yep. That simple. You just unscrew it from there. So once you get it loose, what I like to do is just grab a rag and pull it out. Try not to make too much of a mess like I did just now. And there you have it. The oil filter is out. So all you have to do is slide it off. Pop these O-rings off and replace them. Mm -hmm. And I'll show you how to do that right now. Here, hold the camera. Did you, did you see it? Mm-hmm. Okay, so to take the oil filter off, you just pretty much twist it off like so. And it comes right off. And you have one, two, three, four o-rings i believe that's all of them that you have to replace when you do this so now the easiest way to do that is to get a pick hook so what i use is like a pick hook and i just take it and just pry these off because you're not going to reuse them so don't worry about damage you know they're no good anymore that fell don't worry about it So you just take the hook, put it in there, and just pull them right off, like so, and see, they're slippery. Get the oil on my hands, just get the pick hook in there, pull them right off. Like so. And when you buy the oil filter, it's going to come with the new O-rings. So don't worry about getting O-rings. So take this last one and pop them right off like so. So now all your O-rings are off. Pause it. All right, so we got the new oil filter. So you just pop it open. Just a new filter inside. As you can see, put that to the side for right now. And here are your new O-rings. So I counted four when I did these, but there's one, two, three, four, five. So I must have missed one. Um, let's see. I'm guessing there's supposed to have been another one on here, but it's not there. I might have missed that last time I 
get this but we're not gonna miss it this time so just rip this open pull your o-rings out and it even has instructions on how to put them on here so as you can see we're just gonna throw that to the side for right now because we don't need those so I'm just gonna dab a little bit of oil on my finger and rub it on this o-ring just a little bit so it's not like completely dry when I put it in slide this one over it goes on the top like so, you getting this? Mm-hmm. And there's a little groove that this sits in. It's hard to miss, so you'll see it. It's pretty obvious. So it's in the groove. Now we'll take the next O-ring and do the same thing. And they're different sizes, so you'll be able to tell which size is which, because it goes from large to small. So we put this next one on, and it goes down and over onto this middle section. Like so, so I got this one right here. There's another one which I believe goes in here, so I'm going to go ahead and get some more oil, rub it on this. Slide that one on. Just slide it over. It's a little tricky when you got oil on your hands, but like so. So I got my one, two, three on so far. Yep. Now we're getting down to the end. Take this one, put it over like so. This one goes on this end. Now you can see I got it on right here. And now we have the last one, which is the smallest one. It goes on the tip right here. So I'll just grab a little bit of oil, rub that around. Throw that on the tip. Like so. And now that one is on. Easy like that. All five of them are on. So there's five, not four. Now you take your oil filter and you see it has lines on it. You just want to make sure that those lines are straight when you slide it on. And it just goes on like that. You don't you want to make sure the lines are straight across. They're not diagonal or crooked. That's what the lines are for. Just make sure you have the filter on straight. So all you do is slide it back in. You want to hand tighten it. Don't put the ratchet on there yet. Just hand tighten it. Because you definitely don't want to cross thread this because that will be a nightmare. So you hand tighten it as much as you can. I like to get it all the way on there so it won't go no more. Now it's all the way hand tightened. And you don't want to put too much on this you just want it snug and that's it it's nice and snug on there now we can go underneath the car and put the oil cap back on clean up some of this oil that I spilt we can go ahead and put the oil cap back on Go ahead and get this situated in there. And not the oil cap, we'll go ahead and put the oil plug back in.
And it's just the reverse process of what we did before. Across. All right, so you got the oil plug. I recommend you replace the washer. I have a metal washer on mine, so I'm not replacing it right now. This is like my third oil change I've done with this metal washer. It's probably the last time I use it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it back in. And again, just like the oil filter cap with the oil plug, you wanna hand tighten it. As far as it'll go, never use an impact wrench or a ratchet on it until it gets tight. Well, I wouldn't use an impact wrench on an oil plug anyway. I don't think that's a very safe thing to do. So, now we just take our wrench, place it on. You want to get it pretty tight. First off, let's go ahead and move this oil pan out the way. Let me tell you all something. So, the goal of subscribers is 600, so try to get him to 600 subscribers. Now y'all can do it. Alright, so now we got the oil pan out the way. Here goes the O-ring that I dropped earlier. That's why I wasn't worried about it because I knew it was going to fall straight down. So, we just put our 13 millimeter wrench and that's pretty much it right there. It's going to, you don't want to do it too tight and strip it out. All right, that should be good. Now the oil plugs back in. Now we can start filling her up with oil. All right, so now we're ready to put the oil in. I've been using zero W40 weight. That's what I've been using since I got the car. Mobile One. Um, this is the half container that, like I said before I had. Um, I didn't finish it, so go ahead and finish it now. You pretty much, you're probably going to use one whole container to start off with. I'm just using a half one because it's what I had left over. And after this, we're going to do the air filter. I'll show you how to do the air filters. They're pretty easy. You just have to pop the cover off and swap them out. All right, so we got that. Now we're going to open up another one. I'm probably going to put half of this in and then I'm going to check it. Now the car is up on an angle, so I am taking that into consideration. Once I get close to filling it up, I will roll the car back off the ramps and finish filling it at ground level so I get a more accurate reading when I fill it up. So about half of this, which is about two and a half quarts, I believe. And this is a five quart jug. So that should be about five quarts I have in. Actually, I'm going to go a little more than a half. Because I know it takes at least seven. All right. <clears throat> so I'm about three quarters of the way with that. I'm gonna let that settle a little bit. Then I'm gonna check it. But like Ninja Gives you was telling y'all, don't forget to like, subscribe. I know there's a big majority of y'all that's not subscribed, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Doesn't cost a thing. Just showing support for the channel, and um, I would greatly appreciate it. So let's go ahead and check this oil. Pull the dirt stick out, wipe it off. Put it back in like so. Wait a second, pull it back out. And we are at right, I don't know if you guys can see that, but we're right at the bottom of the stick. Can you get that? 
-hmm. Can they see it? Mm -hmm. Right at the bottom. So, I'm probably going to need another quart as it sits right now. So, I'm going to go ahead and finish that container off. Just pouring that in. Making a mess. We'll clean it up though. All right, so that's about, that's almost seven quarts right there that I put in. So let's give it a second, let it go down. Write this off again, and we're gonna check it again. Don't make sure no wipe it. Okay, now you guys can see where we're at. We're almost there. About half a quarter away from being full. Been dripping. Mm hmm It's fresh oil. So we're about half a quarter away from being full. <clears throat> so now I'm going to open up the next one. And like I said, we're not definitely not going to use this whole thing. So I'm going to have some left over, but usually when I buy two of these, I usually have some left over anyway. That's why I had that half of one left over. So let's do about half a quart. Now you might want to go ahead and pay attention to the lines on the back so you know what's half a quart. I've been doing this so much, I just know how to feel when I pour about half a quart or close to a quart. So, don't do what I do unless you're used to doing these type of jobs. Always look at your measurements. I'm going to wipe this off again. And let's check it now. See, we're almost there. It's like right there. So we're almost to the top. Now I'm pretty sure once I start the car up, it's gonna go down some more because it has to circulate into the oil filter. So I'm gonna just pour a little bit more. That should be good. This should be enough for me to be able to roll the car down check it so you know it's a process just take your time with it don't rush if you're gonna be in a hurry don't do this because you will mess your car up really bad because you don't want to overfill it and you don't want to underfill it either okay so now don't know if you guys can see they can it's pretty much looking like it's over full, but it's not. I promise you it's not. Let me check it one more time. Like I said, it has to circulate into the oil filter and everything. So, well actually it's not over full. It's dead on the money right now. So, I'm going to go ahead and push the car down. And start her up. Well, I'm gonna check her first, then start her up, and probably have to add more oil. All right, so we got the car level on the ground. Now let's check it again. Of course, you know the routine wipe it off. And it's pretty much spot on. Let me check it one more time. Just to be sure. Yeah, it's pretty much spot on. So, go ahead and close everything up. Go 
forget to put your cap back on. And we're going to start her up and see where she's at. Alright, so we're going to start her up. Starting her up. So you want to just run it for about 30 seconds, get the oil pressure up. So now we're going to check it again. What's the point of this? Um, let's get it in the light. You can see right there is dead on. So I'm not going to need to add any more. I'm going to check it one more time. Always double check. He's right, always double check. And as you can see, it's right on the money. So, about seven quarts. Give or take, mostly give. I'm gonna say seven quarts to fill this up. So now that we got that done, we're done with the oil change part. So There's now, more? We can do the air filter. So we got to take these hoses off, like so. Take these off, toss them to the side, and we have to pop this up. This thing is dirty. And you just flip it over. I was wrong. It's a. Uh, it's not a Phillips head screwdriver. I was thinking about another car, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I stand corrected. It's not a Phillips head. It's a T25. You guys can see that. That's what I'm gonna be using to take this off. So. on each side. So like I said, you just unscrew all four sides. Should have them loose enough to where it will come off. And voila, the filter comes out just like that. Pull the old filter out. With these filters, don't look too bad. Oh. Well, yeah, there's some sand in there, as you can see. Horrible. Dump that out. Overall, the filter does not look that bad. So, pop the new filter in like so. Just press it in. Make sure it's all the way in. Like that. Always you want to make sure. sure it's in all the way around. It's not sticking out so there's no gaps. So, just place it back on and screw it back down. And this, this side is the same way, so we're not going to go through that. But that's pretty much how you change the air filter. All right, guys, so we got the air filter back in, oil filter in, oil drained, oil changed. Everything's good to go. Levels are good. So that's pretty much it. I mean, it's not a hard job to do. It's just time consuming. Um, just got to take your time with it. Like I said, don't rush. Don't be in a hurry. Take your time. Check over everything two or three times. If you got to. Like I said, it's not a Phillips head screwdriver to take the air filter out. It's a T25. So that's one correction I had to make. 
But um, other than that, that's it, guys. Um, just want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share this video, hit the bell notification button. And even if this is the only video you watch, and you never watch my channel again, just hit the, su the uh, subscribe button. Doesn't take nothing but a second, one click of the finger or the thumb. And that's all I ask, guys, because um, a lot of people watch the videos that are not subscribed, so it'll help the channel out a lot. Yep. <laughs> so until next time, guys, stay safe. Love y'all. I'm out.